So Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 2 is coming November 23rd. Went over this and some of the spoilers. Savage He-Man. Right, We know how He-Man is coming back. So he's, of course, not going to die in this series. However, I would say, <laughs> to be honest, the character, he died in the last one. And not so much as him actually being gone. I mean, more so the characters, it's the character itself got assassinated. So we have the second part of the show coming. Once again, they're trying to tease He-Man as a big part of the show. We know that's a lie, even though I will admit this poster looks cool. I like the one that they had for part one as well, but they both have something in common. <laughs> they lie about He-Man being a big part of the show. That's not going to be the case. We already know that. Because Kevin Smith has spoiled that himself before. So this is from 804-2021. Kevin Smith Damage Control, He-Man Alive Part 2 is Evil Lynn story, which is very, very true. So once again, they try to give us this poster and say He-Man's back and he's going to be front and center. He's going to be Savage He-Man, which of course is He-Man without the power sword. We're going to talk about him in a second. Basically, Adam calls on the power because he is still the champion. He just doesn't have the sword. So he becomes savage He-Man. He's going to use an axe. And apparently, he's going to have a big showdown with Skeletor. And I don't think that's going to happen like you think it is. And I'll talk about that in a second. But how do we know it's not going to be about He-Man? Well, of course, Kevin Smith ruined that. We mirror Tila's journey with Evil Lynn's journey as well, said Smith about part one. You are taking, you are talking about two women who have been in the shadows of very powerful men, male characters since the inception of the franchise. And Tila, you know, fought side by side with He-Man, definitely more of his equal. Evil Lin, though, was Skeletor's subservient. What happens in a world with a person that helps identify that character? In the case of Tila, He-Man. In the case of Evil Lin, Skeletor. What happens if those two figures are removed from their lives? Who do they get to be? So Evil Evil Lynn. It's the Evil Lynn show now. Just like before, it was the Tila show. Now, to be fair, Evil Lynn is much more interesting than Tila. So maybe, maybe it'll be okay. But will it, though, if you really think about it? Because remember, this is supposed to be about He-Man. I don't know if they wanted you to forget that they said this is going to be the Evil Lynn story or not, but... That's whose show it's going to be. So this poster, once again, is a lie. You know, they should have the real main character right here, Evil Lynn, more front and center. So Savage He-Man. Uh, given Kevin Smith's track record and what he's done, and given that Masters of the Universe Revelation had a lot of you know girl power themes, I really think... Savage He-Man is going to be a bumbling, toxic male idiot. Not so much he's going to go around slapping women or something, and, you know, being truly toxic. I think he's just going to be a dumb brute. And he's not really going to have any thought. I mean, it says it right in here. Get inside quick. Savage He-Man is on the warpath and he's headed your way soon. I think he's going to be a dumb, empty vessel. And it's going to take the women to help him focus to take down Skeletor. Kind of like if you remember in Dragon Ball Z when they turn into the giant apes and they just are just reckless and destroy everything, but they're super powerful. I think that's what you're going to see with Savage He-Man. It's kind of in the name. He's going to be a big, dumb Neanderthal. He's going to be an idiot. Isn't that what you've always wanted, a dumb idiot He-Man? Because men are dumb. Men are stupid. They're stupid. We don't need no dumb old man. So it's going to be Savage He-Man with Tila, Andrea, and Evil Lynn trying to focus that power at Skeletor. And, of course, I think they'll help him. They'll help him defeat him. And then at the end of the day, of, the day, of course, Tila going to be the new sorceress. She gets a new champion. She's going to pick Andrea. Andrea is going to be the new He-Man. I guess you would call her she man, she woman. I don't know what they're going to call that. I'm not sure. And then Evil Lynn, who knows what she does? Maybe she takes over Skeletor's, uh, his lair, and the show ends. 
Adam humiliated. I don't even know if they'll make him a king. That was my original prediction. Maybe he'll just become the jester. I don't know. I think his parents are still alive. So basically, Adam's going to give up the power. Andrea, a character nobody gives a shit about, will become the new champion. And all we got from a He-Man sequel was He-Man dying twice, and then he comes back, and he's made to look like a fool who can't control his power. Oh, the joke's on you, He-Man fans. Anyway, Kevin Smith should be ashamed of himself. He still needs to apologize to Clownfish TV. I think it's funny that there's more positive things being said about that CGI show, too. Like, no one, the hype for this is just dead. I, I think this is going to be, I, I think the first two days, it'll be like, you know, top 10 on Netflix, and then it's going to die off just like the original did. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. And uh, peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.